In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. He himself was God. Nothing was made without him that was made. Huh? Verse 14. This Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. So the unseen God, the invisible God, you will hear this over and over again till one day we get the revelation. This invisible God wanted to show to the world how he operates. So he decided to take his word and put it inside human form so that we can associate with God. Because God is unseen, God is creator, God is all-knowing, omnipotent, omniscient, all over. How can I associate with such a God? So this God takes that spirit, come over a little woman, make her pregnant, and here comes God, the seed word, now in flesh. And here he walks. God in flesh. To show you how God operates but to associate with flesh so that you can associate with God because God has now associated with you. Now we can understand we can be imitators of God. We can copy Him because He already showed to us that in flesh He can operate as God and nothing is impossible to Him that believes. Mm -hmm. So here comes Jesus and He walks. Who are you? He says, oh, John chapter 6, five times. I am the bread of life. If you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you shall never taste death. Who are you to say? He said, oh, I am the bread that came down from heaven. No, 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 no. Moses gave us bread. No, Moses did not give you bread. Your fathers ate bread in the desert and they all dead. I am the bread that comes down from far. If you eat this bread, you shall never taste of death. They said, oh, this is blasphemous. We need to kill him. We need to stone him. He said, do you want to kill me? Because I said, I am. Hmm? Jesus, tell us straight who you are. Oh, I am the light of the world. Who are you? Oh, I am the fountain of living water. No, 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 no. Who are you? Hmm? Jesus, if you were here, John chapter, our brother would not have died. Oh, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he be dead, yet shall he live. But if you live and believe in me, You shall never see death. I am the resurrection. Do you believe this? Jesus. Wherever he goes, he is now trying to show us how God operates. When he speaks, what manner of man is this? That with a word he command the demons and they come out. What manner of man is this? With a word he calms the storm and stills the seas. What manner of man is this? With a word he tells the sick and they are healed. What manner of man is this? His word is not like the Pharisees and the scribes. His word is with power. No wonder it is the word that is now in flesh. It is God manifested in the flesh, seen of angels. The invisible God is now in human flesh showing us how God operates. Be ye imitators therefore of God. Copy him. No, I I I I am not able. I am strengthened with might in the inner man. So that God will do for me far and above anything that I can even think or pray because I am strengthened with might in the inner man. Hmm? I am able to do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loves me. I can do all things through Christ. I am. So, if I take I am, What I add show how much I take the word 
appreciate what God has done or throw it back in his face and say, oh no, Jesus, you have not yet come in the flesh, so I cannot yet receive what you have done. So I am, cannot go with any negative statement. I am, can only go with the word of God. If it's not word, it is not I am. Then I am not copying my father. Then I'm still living an individualistic life that I got from my father in the flesh. Then I am still bound to tradition, religion, and I don't come out of it. I don't even see other people see I'm religious. Stubborn. No, I'm not going to say that. I will say what I want to say because I want to say it because I am self-willed. What about surrendering and say, it is no longer I that liveth, but Christ is now alive in me. Who is Christ? The Word in flesh. And the life I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Not by faith in the Son of God, the faith of the Son of God. How does He operate? Peace. Be still. How does he operate? Lazarus, come forth. How does he operate? Quiet and come out of him. How does he operate? Learn of me. I'm meek and gentle of heart, and you will find rest for your soul. What is your name? How shall I say to the children of Israel, who sent me? Moses, go tell them, I am that I am. Tell them, I am has sent you. Oh, no. I can't do that. I, you know, I, I'm not that type of man that will do this. And, you know, I've got a personality and the thing that I grew. You know, I was born like it. Oh, so that's why you must be born again. Oh, this is just my character. That's why you've got to renew your mind. Hmm. Hmm. John 8. Okay, now Jesus is busy with his I am. I am, I am, I am. Hey, the people just don't like it at all. Every time he's I am, they want to stone him, kill him, throw him down a mountain. They just don't like it at all. Hmm? They say, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. He said, listen, man, if you start knowing this word and let this word abide in you, you shall be my disciples indeed. And this word shall make you free because you shall know the truth. And if this truth has set you free, you shall be free indeed. They say, ah, no, we've never been slaves. I mean, they already forgot what they did in Egypt. We've never been slaves. We are the children of Abram. Jesus says to them the same as what John says to them. He said, man, you know what? I can make out of these stones children of Abram. You are not the children of Abram. You know who your father is? Your father is the devil. Now, this is Jesus talking to religious people. Your father is the devil. Say, ah, you have the devil. He said, no, 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 I am of God. I am, I am from above. You are from beneath. This is the same discourse. I am from above. You are from beneath. No, 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 no. How can you say, you know, we are not the children of Abram? We know Abram. Jesus said, hey, can I talk to you? Hmm? Where am I? Uh, John H. Uh, Where is John? Hey, John. Where are you? Yes, here it is. Verse 57, Hmm? verse 56, your father Abram rejoiced to see my day and he saw it and was glad. Hey, remember Genesis 14? Abram come back from his battle with the three armies, all all those armies of Kedul Omer, remember? And and he slayed them all and the king of Sodom met him and then Melchizedek met him. 
and he brought bread and wine and he gave it to Abram. Galatians 3, 8, the gospel was first preached to Abram. Jesus, Jesus says, Abram wished to see my day, longed to see my day, and he saw it. So in other words, Jesus said, I appeared unto Abram and showed him how I was going to die, how I was going to be the Savior. I preached the gospel to him. I gave him bread and wine. Abram rejoiced to see my day and he saw it. Let's read. Hmm? He says, your father, Abram, after he already said to them, for Abram is not their father. Then said the Jews unto him, you are not yet 50 years old. And as thou seen Abraham, Jesus said unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. If there's anything you want, I am. When hundreds of years ago they needed a deliverer, I am the Lord your deliverer. When they wanted health in the desert, I am the Lord that healeth thee. When they needed peace with all the nations, I am your peace. When they wanted a shepherd to lead them through the wilderness according to Isaiah, I am the good shepherd. I, I am. Before Abram was, I am. And in the distant future, when your great, 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 great grandchildren will be running around, I am. I am your provision. I am your protector. I am your provider. I am your life giver. Hmm? I'm talking about something greater than prayer. I'm talking about something greater than just a confession. I'm talking about putting yourself in a place. Be ye imitators of God as dear children. Copy him. Huh? Father, I pray that they will be one. Even as you and I are one. I and the Father are one. So if God says, I am, then Jesus comes and he says, I am. Then he leaves you to say, then I am. Then he starts the good shepherd story. Now they're really getting angry. I am the door. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lay down. You know, all the others that came before me are thieves and robbers, but I am. Hmm? They said, no, 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 no. He said, if you struggle to understand it, I and the Father am one. Now they're really angry. No spookle clipper. I mean, they are so angry. They're going to nail him. They're going to, okay. Listen. Hmm. Verse 30, John chapter 10. I and my, now John chapter 10 is the whole story about I am the good shepherd. Okay? I and my father are one. Then they took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered, many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of these works do you stone me? The Jews answered him saying, for a good work we stone you not, but for blasphemy. Because thou, listen. I'm speaking to you and you to hear the word of the Lord coming to you. Because you being a man, are you there? Because you being a man, make yourself God. I'm talking to somebody in the house, somebody watching my TV. You being a man, making yourself God. Jesus answered them, is it not written in your law? Hey, is it not written in your, because they are on the law, man. So Jesus now quote from Psalm 86. Is it not written in your law? I say, you are God's. I am. I am. Verse 35. If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, those prophets there, and the scripture cannot be broken. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he not said, and shall he not do it? Hath he not spoken, and shall it not come to pass? Let God be true, and every man a liar. Thus saith the Lord, I am. Say ye of him 
whom the Father has sanctified. I have sanctified you in the womb of your mother before you were born. I've already justified and called you. Say ye of him who the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemous, because I said, I am the Son of God. Galatians 4, as long as the heir is a child, he differs nothing from a slave, but is under tutors and governors till the time appointed of the father. Now Galatians 3 already told us the law was our tutor, our schoolmaster to show us the way to Christ. But now that Christ has come, we are no longer under the law. Because Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us that we can receive the blessings of Abraham and the Spirit of God. You know the story. So Galatians 4. As long as the child, heir is a child, he differs nothing from a slave. But he's under the tutors, the law, governors till the time appointed of the father. But when the fullness of time came, full stop, came, God sent forth his son. Born of a woman that was made under the law. To redeem those that were under the law. To give them so that they might receive the adoption of son. And now that we are the children of God. John 1, 11, He came unto his own, his own received him not. Verse 12, but as many as received him to them gave him the power to become the sons of God. Verse 13, who owe their birth not to blood, neither to the flesh, neither to the will of the flesh, because they are born of God. Okay, with that in mind. Because we are now children. Are you ready? God has put the spirit of his son in us, crying, Abba, Father. That makes you and you and you, 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 and me, sons of God. Now Romans 8, creation, verse 19, is subject to frailty because of him who's subjected. Now we all, who have the first fruits of the Spirit together with creation, groan in his an earnest expectation, waiting for the sons of God to come to the front and say, I am a son of God. Who are you being a man making yourself God? Does not your law say, I say that you are God? If it is true that to whom the word came, they said it. Is it then the word cannot be broken? How come we that are now the children of God got the spirit crying, Abba, my father, my father, can you not now say, I am a son of God? And if I'm a son of God, God is my father. And if he's my father, be ye imitators of God. Copy him. Huh? Come on, we have spoken now so much about changing the scenery by changing the sound. What you confess is what you possess. What you say is what you get. Name it, claim it, frame it. You call it anything. But after all these years, what do we say? What do you say? Leave me, I will say this. Who are you pleasing? Who are you spiting? And who are you upsetting? Whose life are you ruining? Your mind, your brain, has got something that it releases some and do orphans, I don't know what orphans, but <laughs> some orphans, dolphins, and do more dolphins, something. I'll go check it up again. Endorphins, your brain, okay? That makes you be able to produce properly and perform properly. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. But most people live under stress. Anxiety, anger, upsetness, hurt, broken hearts. So the brain cannot produce that. That's why people live a life that is not good. Now, this is scientifically, you check it on the internet, endorphins, how it is released. If somebody shows an act of kindness, I 
come and I see. Sharon, keep coming. He gives me money. He gives me the money. He gives me the money. Doesn't care what his state is like. He can just give it to me because it's pressed in the offering or he just want to give it. So he just give it to me. I receive it as an act of kindness. So I say, wow. Because I needed the money. So the wow is a kindness that's released from me and it immediately releases that endorphins. Okay. Wow. So every time I, wow, wow, wow. Huh? Something like, I don't know, but something like 8% of the endorphins that is produced is then produced. But if somebody comes and shows an act of kindness, hey man, I just want to bless you. And he receives it then. Then it goes up to something like 24% of endorphins is released. Okay. <clears throat> so Paul says, be ye kind one to another. Tender hearted. It just... Let your kindness, Afrikaans say vriendelijkheid, let your kindness be shown to everybody because the Lord is at hand. It means God is so close. But if you show kindness, He starts revealing. But if I don't come with the spirit of kindness, mm, God which is at hand now is removed. And then I got to act out of the flesh. And I got to do things in a different way, like we've been taught through ages upon ages. And this man has stood in this church over and over and over and said, who's going to break the cycle? Somebody must break the cycle and say, I choose to be different. I'm going to be gentle. I'm going to be kind. I'm going to be loving. I'm going to be sweet. I'm going to imitate God. I'm going to copy Him. Okay. If somebody doesn't do it this way, then everybody's going to do it that way. That's tradition. What about years ago, we were in the tent, and this is what I said to the people. I trust this world so much that I believe it has the power to do what it says it will do. So if I just preach this word, people will be saved, without me doing anything. They will be delivered without me doing anything. They will be healed without me doing anything. And we have testimonies upon testimonies. Because while you were preaching, uh, this pain disappeared. While you were preaching, cancer disappeared. While you were preaching, without prayer. Amen. Just believing and trusting the word. But now we go and bring portion of self into the word. Why don't we just trust the word? How it is. I am. In the beginning was the Word. Not opinion. The Word. Not reasoning. The Word. Jesus says over and over to the fact, why reason you? Why do you? Yeah, but, yeah, but. No, 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 no. Why reason you? Jesus is to be believed, not to be reasoned. Um... I don't know where we were. I said, what did I, didn't I say Isaiah? I said Isaiah 33. Okay. There's so much in this word. You are still here, are you? Do you say, I am blessed, or do you say, I'm upset? Do you say, I'm happy, or do you say, I'm so unhappy now? Do you say, I'm successful, or do you say, nothing is working out for me? What is behind your I am confession? Is it I am what God says? 
or that I am what you think, say, reason, tradition. This is a hard word. No, it's not. It's so simple. Just add the word behind your I am. I remember when I got sick, somebody gave me an iPod with a lot of sermons on. While I was listening to it, I thought, ah, this is good. Yeah? Then Tom Scarella emailed me something to put it on my iPod, and emailed it to me on my email, and gave it to me on my cell phone. Two sermons by Paul Yonggi Cho, who built the biggest church in the world. He's now close to his 80s, strong as ever, as young as ever. But he says, when he feels like there's a temptation to get sick. He said, now you must understand, in 40 years of ministry, I've never been off work one day, never been sick one day. He said, I didn't say I was not tempted to be sick. He said, but when the temptation comes, I quickly run to my church. And I walk around my church and thousand times I say, I am healed. I am healed. With the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. With the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. With the stripes of Jesus, I am healed. He said, I've never entered the church and exited it feeling the same. I was always well when I walked out. But will you say thousand times, I am prosperous, I am prosperous, I am prosperous. Because I take a scripture. You shall be prosperous in all your ways, Joshua 1. You shall be successful in whatever you do. 1 Timothy chapter 4. Your progress will be seen by all. Hmm? In blessing, I will bless you. You feel all the curses of hell is broken out again. No, I, tell you, I tell you, my family is cursing me. You must see the emails we get. You know, there's curses on my house. There's curses on my house. My uncle has cursed me. My house is cursed. Break the curse. Walk through the house, say, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am hey guys, please remember to click the subscribe button on your screen so that we can inform you when we're uploading more content and we have a full library of content to be uploaded. So you're going to be blessed by that. Remember to click subscribe. Bless you.